June is going to be a very powerful time for Gemini. Sun, moon, and rising, you've got something incredible on the way to you, and it's going to take a lot of courage for you to do this. But if you can muster up that courage, that strength, it's going to be awesome. So let's take a look at you for the month of June. I hope you guys are doing well because we are just about halfway through the year 2024. And 2024 is the year. It's the big year. It's the year you've been waiting for to make the changeover, the crossover, uh, to start from scratch and build up and start all of this beautiful it's like flourishing. All right. That's what this year is about. It's also about karma. And for those of you who believe in karma, it is about karmic rewards and justice coming into place. For the sign of Gemini, I feel some of you have been dealing with something in your life where justice needed to be served. Now, that could have been anything from looking at jobs and people around you to your own energy vibration of what you needed to do. But we're going to take a look at you. We're going to look at the people around you, whoever is involved in your life. We're going to look at your career. Actually, we're going to do those two in reverse. And then we're going to take a look a little bit at romance. And I'll give you the guided message at the end of the reading. Now, remember, I am guided through these readings. So whatever I'm seeing and hearing and feeling, I tell you. And then cards follow up and they back it up, which is really, really nice. So you have, oh, see, that's what I'm talking about. You've got patience. You've been very patient while you've been waiting to reconnect. Remember, karma. I just said karma. So this is the beautiful uh, judgment card saying it is time for something to come full circle is what I'm hearing. Full circle. For a lot of you, it does have to do with a family member, but it can be different for each and every one of you. It depends on what's going on in your life. So whatever needed to be reevaluated, that is the big highlight of what's coming in. And this is going to take a lot of courage. Now, I don't mean that you have to talk to this person or go back and talk to the job, the situation, or try and get the loan or the grant or whatever it is. You don't have to physically or verbally do it, but you do have to do it inward. And that is what's going to lead you to this. You got the two best cards in the deck, and that's what I'm talking about for the sun, moon, and rising sign of Gemini. Now, I really feel that this is very strong for rising and sun sign. Maybe not as much on the um, moon sign, but most definitely it's still going to be part of it. So you guys, you have been going through a lot, a lot of healing, a lot of changes, a lot of growth, and you have earned what is coming into you. And I mean earned it. You have let go and just made all of these changes. And boy, did it, it's challenging at best. However, my guides are saying that you've been doing this for so long, you're actually very good at it. And some of you can just boop, pop right in there and get that high vibe. But then there's something that comes in, whether that's a memory or um, even living with the person who who puts you into this awakening cycle. Some of you, it was a person. Some of you, it was an area that you live in. They're showing me land, energy, a house that you lived in, a building, whatever building structure it is. That could be the grocery store where every time you walk in there, things fall off the shelf and they break. And it's whatever it is in your life, you have overcome. It's like this big leap of faith. And again, sometimes I feel Gemini, so you guys kind of waver and go back and forth. Let me pull these cards out for you. But we're going to take a look at career right now, projects. Now, if you're not working, this is whatever you invest your time, energy, and effort into Gemini. Again, this is a last call that is going to lead to the sun. It can't get much better than this. And the energy shift that's taking place right now is huge. It is going to be the biggest one and you definitely want to be on it. It's going to last all the way to maybe the 20th of June. For some, you may feel the effects through the 30th of June. But June is the month, okay? that It's the month for you guys and prosperity. Starting a new path that's going to feel absolutely incredible. Your health is going to be better. Your emotions are going to be better. Um, 
they're saying your spiritual connection is going to be better. You may have learned how to tap into your intuition. And if you need help on trying to move into your soul purpose, get out of this feeling of fear, stagnation. I have a workshop coming up and uh, you can look for the link. I'll direct you to a link um, that you can sign up, uh, read more about it. Okay. But it's going to be a powerful workshop where we're going to look at four different elements to help everybody push through the month of June. All right. This is the big one. This is the big leap that you've been working on for the past two to three years. Some of you have been even longer. Now, when it comes to career, your finances, your projects that you're working on, education, anything to do with pentacles. All right. Anything to do with feeling safe and secure, you've got something really important on the way. Let me pull this. Something very important on the way. Now, you may have been taking a little bit of a break if you're not working, if you're not doing anything. And this is for some of you when I said, I see they're showing me like this little bit of stagnation. And have to say, Gemini, you are one of the zodiac signs that are the most grumpiest zodiac signs where a lot of you haven't made that leap of faith. You haven't let go. And I feel for those who haven't, and there's a lot of you that have, obviously. Some of you have superseded it. This is like this incredible time for you to get up and go, 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 and don't stop. But make sure you break, take a break. If you're overworking yourself, putting too much time and energy into studying, into learning, into finances, and just go, 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 it's whatever you're doing. They're saying take a break, all right? You need to take a break. It's time to walk away from a situation that brought you much joy okay maybe this was a certain path that you thought you'd be on forever a certain position a certain career i am seeing interior design if you're an interior designer you may have been fel uh, feeling like it's time to make a change over maybe it's going into the automated ai system and making this change Whatever it is, it's going to be very beneficial. There are many, many more scenarios that they're showing me, okay? But this is all about walking into creating abundance. And I do see that you've been working on it. Some of you have been working on it for eight years. Literally eight years. Eight of cups, eight years. That's your cue, eight. And this is the year of eight, right? 2024 is the year of eight in astrology. So this is the year of success, all right? Whatever success means to you, it is going to be very, very important. We also have the Emperor card here. So as we look at this situation, they're showing me some of you have been um, like, I feel you've been putting things in. Okay, this could be your time and energy, but for a lot of you, it's putting something in to something, like plugging it in, putting it in. This could be putting money into a jar. This could be... Um, putting money it looks to me like a cash register like an old-fashioned cash register i don't know do they even have those anymore i don't know everything's changing and next year in 2025 it'll be completely different our entire world will be different and these fragments of things that have been fading away where we forget about it where it's you know it's changing if you know what i mean it's going to be very very different Whatever it is, you're putting everything in here and you may be putting all of your energy into one thing. If you're throwing everything into work, throwing it into a project or just sitting there, maybe doing nothing and putting it into watching TV, they're saying it's time to diversify. It's time to make a change. It's time to make the crossover. That's why I do this. This is the crossover that they're showing me. So this is absolute strength and courage, absolutely strength and courage of moving into something that is going to be for your highest good. Now, you may have seen this when you were a child, actually seen it. Remember from age five, six, they're telling me five to six years old, where you might have known what your sole purpose was. Some of you, it has everything to do with your career and project line. Okay, some of you, it's going to have to do with relationships. However, this is going to be very, very big. Watch out for somebody stubborn around you, Gemini. I know you can be stubborn. We all can be. But this is an actual person that I'm being shown. Somebody who's very stubborn and you're familiar with this person. This could be your next door neighbor. Somebody you talk to a little bit more frequently. Your partner, a family member <clears throat> that you live with. 
whoever this person is, they're like, no, <laughs> no. And they do this a lot. They're like, no, no. And I see this with the hand. That's why I'm doing that because that's what I, my vision is showing me where they just kind of go, no. And they shut things down. They put things on hold. They put things back into the box. I heard back into the box. <laughs> that's what my guide said, back into the box. Whatever it is, this individual, um, they're not the key to your happiness, although it may feel like that. And that could be, again, like it, maybe they're your boss and they're making that, signing that check. And I see for some of you, it absolutely is. So this is like, I feel new ideas that you're trying to present, new alternative methods, uh, especially if it has to do with accounting, numbers, okay, finances, uh, financial industry, banking industry, investing. You have a better way to do things. You may have recently figured out, Gemini, how to do things. Um, they're showing me this is something you may have learned over the years. Over the years, progressively learning it or even going to some type of a training uh, camp, school, education. This particular idea that you have is going to be absolutely phenomenal uh, if you can get it patented and put into place. That's what my guides just said, patented and put into place. So whatever it is, this is going to be powerful and it's going to help the collective consciousness overall in general. It'll be part of the movement of where we're actually going in our lives, where everybody's going, the shift, the positive energy shift that's coming through. So let's take a look at family and friends. Whatever this is going on, some of you it has to do with a family member where you're going to be walking away from them. And remember that person who does this, they may be putting the, their thumb down, their hand down going, no, you're not going to invest in that. You're not going to buy that car. You're not going to buy that. I keep hearing bridge. Let me know if you are looking at a bridge. This could be a bridge, maybe bridge counseling. This could be helping people get from one aspect of their life to another. But I keep hearing the word bridge. It may be an actual bridge for some of you where this is a project. This is an investment in real estate where it has a bridge. There is a powerful positive outcome if you can get that person to stop doing that. And I see that you can. But again, it has to do with strength and courage. Now you're going to be guided by this uh, through this whole situation. You may be guided by a loved one. Okay, we all have our guides, our, our spirit guides, our angels and deceased loved ones around us. Um, and I see, uh, I see a female. So some of you, this is a mother, a grandmother, somebody, a female, not feminine, but a female uh, that you love, that is your um, deceased loved one. Mm -hmm. And they're going to help you through this to help you conquer whatever that is. All right, let's take a look at your family and friends. Let's see how that resonates in here with this. Okay, we've got the King of Wands here. And that King of Wands is somebody who's very charming, very charismatic. And for some of you, I just feel like Gemini, this is that stubborn person most likely that I'm talking about. But whoever this person is, they're very good with words. Like when they speak, people listen. People listen to this person. So they hold a sense of, I'm going to call it uh, leadership quality for, for your situation, your family, a family hierarchy, a grandparent, parent. Whoever this person is, there's a lot of people around you. Oh, my goodness. All these cards came out. Look at these people. You got mom, dad, uh, brother, and two sisters here. Okay, maybe an aunt. You have a lot of people around you in the month of June. It's not by chance all these cards came out. So this may be talking to an entire family where it's time to work on our relationship. It's time to get back together, especially for those of you who have been divided. I'm seeing between... 2019 and 2023 if you were divided in that time it could be any time frame but that's just what the vision is showing me between 2019 and 2023 the family divided there was separation okay probably for something really stupid they didn't like the way you were voting they didn't like the way you were doing your hair they just didn't want to talk to you anymore this isn't necessarily an abuse uh, uh hostile or um there is no anger 
Let me put it that way. If there once was, there is no anger today, not on your side and not on their side, where people have grown over these years. So this isn't the narcissistic, unhealthy individual that we're talking about. There's somebody who holds a lot of leadership power, but not necessarily misusing it, okay? Even though it may have felt like it at one point in time. Now, you could be dealing with each and every zodiac sign. We have them all right here on the board, every single zodiac sign. All of your earth signs, air signs, fire signs, and water signs. <clears throat> you are coming to a complete circle with this situation, especially for those of you where it has to do with that man and a woman. Okay, mom and dad, grandma and grandpa, uh, mother and son, but I feel it's older. It's not child. It's not from, it may be childhood issues that were dividing you, Gemini, but there's a beautiful moment of reconnection. Remember, this is the year of karma. The year of karma, everything is revealed, everything is shown, and then the price is paid, right? Whatever it is. So people who were here are winding up, and I talk to everybody. I do readings every single week, right? I talk to hundreds of people every week. That's a lot of people where I'm seeing a shift. People who were down here, who lost everything, who toppled over, building their way back up. And they're growing and they're ascending and they're doing great because they use this beautiful fearless, okay, being fearless to make these changes. And you may have to be one of those people who let go of that one. So the people who um, are stuck in the old mentality, those are the ones that I see spiral, spiraling backwards, okay? That's what I'm seeing going on right now. Obviously, it's not every single person, but as an overall general in whole, that's what I'm seeing. And I feel, Gemini, that's what you're dealing with. So if you had a person in your family who is very stubborn, unenthusiastic is what I just heard, unenthusiastic, and they may have had a tick, they may have had a tick that could be uh, rocking, that could be my brother, <laughs> my brother used to do this, he'd take his little piece of his hair and twist it like this, and then he would do this and he'd tickle his eyelash like that, that's called a tick, and he's, you know, 50 years old, he still does it, the last time we spoke, but I haven't spoke with him in quite some time. Whatever's going on in this situation, you've got something incredible that is going to be coming in only if you have the courage to work on it. Eight of Pentacles. This is healing that situation. This is a lot of work to come back together. Laying down the, uh, the way you communicate, okay? Establishing the boundaries so no one crosses boundaries. You respect their boundaries. They respect yours. And if somebody isn't going to, we wish them all the best. We wish no harm to them. And we move forward. And that is going to, again, push you right into this beautiful energy of the shift that I'm talking about. Whatever's going on in your family life, family and friends, the shift that's coming has everything to do with these people. All right. Whether it's one or a lot. Now let's take a look at relationships. Okay. Love relationships. And if you're in my membership, I'm posting weeklies. I just started posting weeklies and I'll be putting June's love reading up in uh, the next few days, probably over the weekend, um, Sunday or Monday, uh, the very first few days of June. Let's put it that way. You don't know when I'm recording this. The first few days of June. So when it comes to relationships, I do feel some of you, this is a family affair where it involves a partner. Okay. And your family may have been opposed to you being with this person or on your partner's side, kind of against you. There's a, both energies are there. Now I'm talking to Gemini and you guys carry both those energies, right? You go back and forth and that's part of who you are. So that's actually a quality that can be used to your advantage if you know how to do it. Most Geminis, you do. You know how to use it. You're highly intuitive and you're really connected to the source. And I love that one more card. There we go. See, you even got this. 
highly connected to the divine. You are highly intuitive individuals. And you definitely know how to work with anybody who comes in as the magician. You can be the magician as well. No, it came in reverse. Whoever you're dealing with, your partner, may have been going through a lot of, again, that down, okay, just sit down. I feel you need to say something to this person if you have not already. It's time for you to make a decision and this is going to be a really big decision. Do I stay with this person or do I make a change? Am I going to stay here or am I going to make that leap of faith and ascend into this new vibration? A clear divide. We're talking 3D, 5D, which I'll be going over in that workshop as well. So the link, I'll post it up here, okay? So look for the link, or you can look in my um, description box. I'll post it in there for you guys. But it is going to be a powerful workshop where we're going to cover different areas, all right? It's a little bit of everything to help you accelerate, especially if you're dealing with a relationship that has had a lot of past problems, a lot of... Uh, some of you need to get uh, your your chakras need to be cleared out as well. <clears throat> you can look on my website for that. I don't, I'm a Reiki master energy healer too. So there, there's just this beautiful reunion that is has a lot of flowers around it. I don't know if you like flowers. Let me know if you like flowers. They're very symbolic in this reading. The flowers are being thrown around like Ferdinand the bull. Some of you may remember that story. It was a nursery or children's book. It was one of my favorite children's books when I was little. But he loved the flowers. And instead of being in the bullfighting rink, he'd go and sit down and smell the flowers. And again, going back to the beginning of this reading where you need to take a break. It may not be finances. It may not be work, career, and projects, and inventions, and creations. This may be you taking a break from a relationship and smelling the flowers around you. The scents that we surround ourselves with are so healing and so powerful to help us make this leap of faith. Again, using that beautiful um, uh, 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 strength card. Sorry, that was me. <laughs> Some of you, it's walking away from this person, and I feel it very, very painful. It's in my throat chakra. It's in my chest, where my chest hurts. It feels like it's going to pound. And my solar plexus, and the solar plexus right here where the rib uh, cage curves. That's your feelings and your emotions, right? But also, I feel it in your lower end. So you may be completely blocked, whatever it is, and having a little bit of a hard time hearing the divine messages for you. Now we have change coming in. All right, the Hierophant is talking about a change in the way you view this relationship that you're in. And that's why you're going to be able to make a decision as you go forward. You know, this person really does love you. They just don't know how to show it. And I feel for a lot of you, Gemini, what I'm seeing is you love this way and they love this way. So at certain points it comes back together, but then it parts. And then points it comes back together and it parts ways. But you probably already know what I'm talking about. So let us know if you're one of those where you have hit and miss times of connecting with your partner. Where sometimes it's good and sometimes it's not. The love is there, but yet you still feel empty when you're around this person. Judgment. Karma. The karmic rewards are going to come in for this particular person. And I'm going to pull one uh, card here. And then I'll give you the last guided message. Uh, they will speak. My guides will speak through me to you. They do through the reading, obviously. But it'll be a channeled message. So some of you guys are um, meeting somebody new. All right. You most definitely could be meeting somebody new where it's putting you on a path to do I stay with this person or do I go? You have the card, this could be the one. Now, I haven't pulled these cards out in a really long time. I'm kind of excited to pull them out because it's that time where love is really in the air and people are connecting all over again. People are meeting each other. I've got people meeting each somebody that they knew from, from junior high school. 
and and they always had a crush and now they're back in each other's lives and in thriving so it's beautiful it's like both sides had to go through this massive learning experience and now they're back together this could be the one all right now for those of you where it's the hit and miss in your relationship if you're currently with them it very well could be where you say this could be the one and i use the word could be the one again hit and miss but for a lot of you i feel you're going to be meeting somebody that is going to be very significant in your soul purpose Whatever you're doing, June is escalating, okay? If you're already doing great, if you're already in a good relationship, all of these things are going to escalate higher as we approach the 20th of June. And then we'll start having some back and forth, down, up, down and up, you know, through the rest of the year. So this is like, boom, and we want you to take advantage of it. So if you're looking at somebody in a relationship, you already know intuitively whether this is the right person for you. So Gemini, let's take a look at the final message and then I'll give you the, the words from my channeling my guides. Okay. I am the angel of peace. I bring you new tranquility and a smoother road ahead. That is 100% talking about this. This is it. This is that big moment for our beautiful Gemini. And it will lead to feeling safe and secure in every aspect of your life. This is going to be a new section of your life, a new chapter of your life. There is a big change going to happen for Geminis. If you already know what that change is, let me know. And again, you can click that link or you can go to my website and email me direct either which way. And I'll tell you about this workshop. It is going to be very powerful. Now, my guides are saying... We hear you. We hear each and every one of you. And as life goes on, every moment of the day, things are changing. Every second, things change for you. One minute, it could be bad. One minute, it could be good. One minute, it could be stagnant. The other minute, it could be filled with energy racing all over. That is how you're going to be walking forward for the next six weeks. Some of you, maybe six months, but they're showing six weeks. We will be there to take you through step by step as if you were walking along a stream. A stream that has rocks. It has big rocks where you step on one and you step on the other. And we will make sure that your feet do not slip off from the algae and the growth that is on those rocks. The nonsense of things that do not matter. We will hold you up so you can keep going forward as long as you call us in, as long as you know what your direction is in life. We will help you get from here to there. Call upon us and we will guide you. Thank you. That is direct channeling from your guides for Gemini. So let us know if this resonates with you, what part of it does. It may not be the whole reading, Check out your sun, moon, and rising sign. Gemini, have a wonderful month and happy birthday to each and every one of you. Much love.